Good afternoon and welcome students, teachers, and to our parents, caregivers, families and friends of our Year 12 graduates via our live stream. The graduation ceremony is about to commence. So for everybody that's here, can I please ask that, you, you, that your mobile phones are switched off or turned to silent for the remainder of the formal proceedings? Remember that this is a really important and a formal occasion. Please be upstanding for the procession of the official party. I will now hand over to the 2020 school captains, Abby Jane Bergen and Sylvia Tran for the remainder of the proceedings. Good afternoon. Before we begin, you 12 Aboriginal students, Abby, Tele and Tara will acknowledge and pay respect to the traditional owners of the land on which this ceremony takes place today. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Abby Jane Bergen and I'm a strong and proud Gadigal woman. It brings me not only a tremendous amount of pride, but strength within my people to be able to say that I am one of three Indigenous students graduating before you here today. Although those numbers may seem small compared to many, they're something my mob once lost but have worked hard towards to gain back over the years. In honour of, honor of our people, we would like to welcome you to where we gather here to celebrate today, the motherland of the Cabrigal clan of the Darug people, where we'd like to acknowledge and pay our respects to our ancestors, elders both past, present and future, for their culture and traditions which thrive off our land and pave way for Indigenous Australians. Thank you. Please remain upstanding for the national anthem that will be sung by Stella Savage of Year 12 and Paige Gray Coleman of Year 10, who will sing the Indigenous anthem. So let us rejoice, for we are young and free. We've golden soil and wealth for toil. Our home is girt by sea. Our land abounds in nature's gifts of beauty rich and rare. In history's page, let every stage advance Australia fair. In joyful strains, then let us sing, advance Australia fair. Australia gal yang gai abun i ora bajuri yara gal bamulia rabuni nyara ga raga rang nura mare guing babuba tiara marama Kua go ye go na be barbago yira ba na Australia gal gara bra na yira pun yira ba na Australia gal.
our pleasure to welcome students, teachers, and via our live stream, parents, carers, families, and friends to the Year 12 graduation ceremony. Firstly, I'd like to introduce the members of the official party. Our principal, Mr. Bryce, Year 12 Deputy Principal, Ms. Neveza, Deputy Principals, Ms. Orford, Mrs. Harris, and Ms. Seymour, and the Year 12 Year Advisors, Ms. Press and Ms. Propes. This ceremony marks the formal end of 13 years of schooling for all of us. And despite the many challenges of 2020, we have made it to the finish line, and we are grateful to be able to celebrate this milestone. I'd like to invite our Year 12 Deputy Principal, Ms. Neveza, to give her address. All right, Year 12, the countdown's now over. Zero days till graduation and here we are. So it's the end of one chapter and the beginning of the rest of your lives. You're all so cute in Year 7, I remember that. I even taught some of you and was glad to have pictures taken out there with you as well. On the screen shortly, you'll see the kindy class of 2008. Those little fresh-faced kids compared to now, we have the beards, the eyelash extensions, the sick fades and the acrylic nails in front of me. Let's face it, 2020 was a year we'd rather all forget. We had the physics formulas, the quotes from the crucible, those syllabus dot points, but don't forget them yet. Uh, but then there were also the bushfires, the deadly bushfires that were vis visible from space, the massive floods and even coronavirus. But not even a one in a hundred year pandemic could stop this fine bunch from finishing high school. So well done. Some things for you guys will be unforgettable. Your good friends, your supportive teachers, the great memories and the canteen food. No, maybe not. Okay. I won't forget the Zoom formal rumour that was going around. That was good. Or the visitors that I got every lunchtime who wanted to come in for a quick chat or to use my microwave. I'm not sure which one yet, but doesn't matter. But the thing is, the class of 2020 uh, proved to be a really a resilient group. This is the first cohort to go through online learning, engage with teachers over Zoom, like who knew what that was before this, before 2020, and do their learning totally from Google Class. You were locked up in your room, even in your, in your house for weeks at a time. And then when you finally got back to school, if you had the sniffles, we sent you home. You're gonna tell your grandkids that they don't know what tough is. Try graduating as class of 2020. I know you're all going to miss school. You're going to miss being hassled for running late. You're going to miss the teachers scrutinising the colour of your pants. We did that today. And you're going to miss the teachers telling you to put your phone away. And then there were the bells. Every, second, every seven seconds of it, every single time. Anyway, congratulations to the class, graduating class of 2020. A great bunch of students that achieved so much in, like Sylvia said, challenging times. There were times when we thought we'd never make it. And, but you proved that nothing could stop you from achieving whatever you put your mind to. Take this attitude with you forward as you move through life. We know that you will all excel no matter what path you take. Goodbye, you 12. We're going to miss you. Thank you, Ms. Neveza, for your kind words and support over the years. On behalf of the Year 12, we would like to present you with a small gift as a symbol of our gratitude. The first round of graduation certificates for 12 Curie, 12 SSC and 12 International will now be announced by homeroom teachers and presented by Ms. Press and Ms. Probes. I would like to invite Curie homeroom teacher Ms. Turkeys to announce the graduates and our Aboriginal Education Officers, Ms. Natasha Baker, 
Barker, sorry, to present these students with a boomerang as a sign of our gratitude for their assistance in celebrating and promoting the Indigenous culture within our school and the wider community over the past six years. It is with great pleasure that I announce the graduates of Year 12 Koori. Tara Simpson. Tale Vakakuta. I'd also like to invite Abby Jane back to receive her boomerang as she was also a member of our homeroom. Please join me in congratulating these students. Congratulations to the graduates of 12 Curie, 12 SSC, and 12 International. Could Ms. McGuinness please come up to the stage? Joined by Ms. Wong as well, who was also our SRC coordinator this year. So it is with great pleasure that we both announce the graduates of 12 SRC. Margaret Bayardo. Abby Jane Bergen. Lam Huynh. Samuel Lee. Kevin Nguyen. And Sylvia Tran. Please join us in congratulating these students. It is with great pleasure that I announce the graduate of Year 12 International, Dito Chi Brian. Luke No. Ba Tan Doan. Luan Duan Maria Isabel Waringa Abril Fuk Huin Tamakwan Jongdru Hira Kim Le Yi 
Ian V. Lee. Nguyễn Gia Bảo. Kathy Nguyễn. Nguyễn Hồ Hữu Phúc. Em Ba Hoàng Nguyễn. Nguyễn Ngọc Hương Quỳnh Phúc Duy Nguyễn Nguyễn Vũ Thanh Dung Sắc Nessa Nọ Khánh Phạm Mỹ Trần Quách Kim Dung Thái Đức Trương James Wu Please join us in congratulating these students. Congratulations to the graduates of 12 Koori, 12 SRC, and 12 International. As school captains, Sylvia and I would like to say a few words to the graduating class of 2020. I remember 11-year-old me walking into Bonnerig High School. I dreaded to be in a school with complete strangers. I told myself to do my own things and get out. But oh, how I was wrong. Today, standing up here and seeing each and every single one of you guys wearing the graduation gown, smiling and making eye contact and giggling with your friends, taking photos with a genuine smile, taught me a big lesson. Do you remember the day you first came to the school? Now look around you. Did you realize that there are so many more familiar faces? Faces that you now call your best friend. Faces that you now call your mentor. 
and faces that you now call your family. Life is more than just racing to a destination, but rather it is the relationships we form on our journey. Remember, we don't meet people by accident. They are meant to cross our path for a reason. And for that, I'm so grateful that I call you all my friends and family. Class of 2020, high school is the best, the worst of times. We have shared laughs and a smile, a cry with at least someone in this room and trusted someone with one of our deepest secrets. They say every relationship goes through a struggle, but only strong relationships get through it. Class of 2020, we went through a pandemic together and today we walk out of here together. This may be the end of this chapter and although we can't rewind it, all we can do is look back at the memories and photos we took today and relive the good old days when you and I were a part of it. Finally, now that you guys have been thrown into the real world, the path you pave is in your hands and I hope whatever path you pave leads you to your purpose. Time is limited and as what TikTok has taught us, you have to start romanticizing your life. You have to start thinking of yourself as the main character because if you don't, life will continue to pass by and all the little things that make it so beautiful will continue to go unnoticed. You guys were the little things that made high school beautiful. Everything will be okay. Boring family, today isn't a goodbye unless we make it one. Today marks a day where we'll come out and we'll say, I'll see you again. Let's make a pack. In 10 years time, 20,030, we come back and we talk about how our 17 year old selves had nothing to worry about because trust the process. Thank you, class of 2020. It's been approximately 1,200 days since we embarked on the final stage of our schooling journey. After 1,200 days, it gives me the utmost pleasure to be able to say we have finally made it. Our first day of Year 7 back in January 2015, it was a drastic change from what we were used to. We were entering an unknown environment much larger than our primary school, and most of us would have found ourselves overwhelmed by the colossal amount of newfound responsibility placed on our shoulders. Fast forward six years to today, the 23rd of September, 2020, after all the bumps in the roads and uncertainty over this past year, we gathered here to celebrate one of our most monumental milestones. High school has been far from easy. It has been quite the opposite to say the least, but it is in the times of our hardship, challenges and struggles that our greatest accomplishments are achieved. With that being said, the past six years have been filled with endless laughter, countless tears and friendships we will continue to cherish. Amongst all the stresses, the forever compiling assessments, the next exam to study for, and the pressure of receiving that 99.95 ATAR, we as a collective grade have shared and created numerous memories to which will stay with us forever. As our time passed on here at Bonnerig High School, we have been fortunate enough to develop and be part of the occurring change within the school, but most importantly, within ourselves. As individuals, high school has witnessed our tremendous self-growth into the positive young people we are today and equipped us with the necessary tools to succeed and conquer all that life throws our way. On behalf of my grade, I would like to thank all parents, teachers and staff to whom encouraged and inspired such change within us all. For preparing snacks whilst we study endlessly, for marking that 100th draft of an essay, which was perfect several drafts before, but we still insist and for telling us to relax when we say the HSC is the end of our world. We thank you. I would like to personally thank our year advisors, Miss Press and Miss Propes, our very own school mums, our two peas in a pod. It is safe to say, without either of you running around after us, making sure we handed in that assignment or signed that permission note you asked for two weeks ago, we wouldn't be where we are today. From our very first day together as a team, your drive and passion has shined beyond anything else. I never before have witnessed such excitement towards having to deal with boundary pushing big green teenagers until I met you two. <laughs> it has been an absolute pleasure to be under your guidance over the years and I cannot begin to thank you enough for everything you've done for us. But I would like to thank you with the greatest of gratitude for believing in us a whole lot more than we believed in ourselves and for celebrating every one of our little achievements just as much as our bigger ones. So thank you. It makes me proud and definitely not biased to say that you are by far the best year advisors Bonnerig High School has ever witnessed. 
and we will forever be grateful to be a part of your greatness. Now, finally, to my grade. Thank you for sharing this journey with me, for harboring my soul's growth and making me the person I am today. I wish nothing but the best for you all and truly hope that each and every one of you maintain your motivation and drive, not just through the upcoming exams, but throughout all your future endeavours, whether that be employment, travelling, TAFE or university. The choice is yours and your own story is ready to begin being written. This is your school captain, Abby Jane Bergen, signing off from duty. Thank you. Um. In honour of our appreciation, we have uh, gathered a selection of videos uh, to thank our roll call teachers for dealing with us over the past few years. So if that would like to play, thank you. On behalf of Year 12, we'd like to thank all the teachers and staff that have guided, taught and tolerated us over the past six years at Bonnaroo High. Sincerely yours, we love you this year! We love you this year! Certificates of roll call one through to roll call five will now be announced by homeroom teachers and presented by Ms. Press and Ms. Probes. I'd like to invite the homeroom teachers of roll call one through to roll call five to the stage. It is with great pleasure to announce the graduates of 1201. Shaza Ashrafi. Sarah Al Sapiri. Mohammed Arsala. Nadia Ashad. Evan Athanasio. Helen Melinau Melitza Babich Mariana Barison. Lavinia Benny
Arsh Bindi. Josh Bridger. Fadi Butris. Dai Cal. Harry Cal. Tiana Katugno. Sasha Sebra. Hugh Chow. Noah Shav Jacinta Chen Yen Chen Khadija Shikher Jessica Chung Please join me in congratulating these students. Thank you. It is, great, it, it is with great pleasure that I announce the graduates of 12R2. Amil Crisolo. Tu Dam. Kevin Dang. Rachel Dow. Christina D. Changtasing. Jimmy Din. Travis Din Tram. Brenda Doe. Harry Doe. Patrick Doe. Andrew Duan, Maihan Dong, Ruby Duong, Sarah Duong. Serene Duong, Richard.
Richard E. Evelyn Elsa Matthew. Milan Etridge. Benjamin Fabiano. Jessica Fengalahi. Senna Linne Fangalahi. Rosa Ngao Ngao. Andrea George. Milos Gladovic. Daniel Gnatovic. Please join me in congratulating these students. It is with great pleasure that I announce the graduates of 12R3, Tatiana Haddad, Majida Hocha, Saru Halitat, Brian Ho, Kevin Hoang, Pre Hudson, Brendan Huynh. Christopher Huynh, Emily Huynh, Jenny Huynh, Kevin Huynh, Christy Huynh, Tam Huynh, Jalen Iris, Tazil Isaac, Nathan Jewell, Alexandra Jones. Yoros Kabik, C. 
Sin Du Hyun. Joshua Cornfly. Ali Cash. Please join me in congratulating these students. Congratulations, Year 12. It is with great pleasure that I announce the graduates of 12R4. Diana Kozul. Leila, oh, sorry. <laughs> Leila Crayon. Mariam Crayon. Nadia Crayon. Isaac Kistakis. Samantha Colmar. Abhishek Kumar. Jessica Kumar. Christina Cusette. Andre Lakmanovic. Andrew Lamb. Brendan Lamb. Nuquin Lamb. Catherine Lee. Oh, she's away today, sorry guys. Christina Lee. Kathleen Lee. Phoebe Lee. Anna Lee. Trung Lee. Vincent Lee. Shirley Lee. Emily Lever.
Could you please join me in congratulating these students? Twelve R five, Miss Seki and I would like to thank you guys for being such a lovely roll call. We wish you all the best and congratulations. On behalf of Miss Sekulowski and I, it is with great pleasure that I announce the graduates of Twelve R five, Jaden Lay, Sarah Lewis. Kathy Lynn. Emily Luong. Carrie Ann Lu. Jaden Liu, Melanie Liu, Brandon Lai. Chantel Lai, Ethan Lai, James Lee. Jasper Lai, Lathan Lai, Lucas Lai. Shana Lai, Vicky Lai, Justin Ma. Moomin Maan. Catherine Mai. Ryan Mai. Petra Malic. Carl Manalang. Patricia Mansell.
please join me in congratulating these students. Congratulations to our graduates. I'd like to invite our head teacher of attendance, Mr. Ferguson, to present the Bonnerick High School Attendance Award. Thank you. Ms. Nevaez is going to uh, hand these certificates to these students and then uh, I'll actually have a medal to go to a student as well. It's my privilege to acknowledge students who uh, have excelled in attendance across their senior years. As students moving from here in this education area, uh, maybe to further education but closer to the workforce, regular attendance is, a highly commended, uh, is highly commended by employers and it's something that we should all aspire to. You've got to be there to win it. You've got to be in it to win it. Having great attendance uh, is it's generally reflected uh, in your application to learning uh, and to your studies. Uh, and so we would like to commend the following students for outstanding uh, attendance. And they'll receive an award today uh, stating 100% attendance. Uh, so if these students could come up, please. Mariana Basum. Justin No. They're making their way up. Thomas No. Ho Hugh Fook Nguyen. Nathan Nguyen. And Trang Dai Nok Nguyen. So these students, uh, they have their certificates inside their envelopes already for 100% attendance. Uh, as Abby said earlier, um, there's 200 days in, in a year, a school year, and you've had six years here at Bonnie Rig High School. When reviewing student attendance, uh, this student has not missed a day over the last six years. So this following student um, has essentially uh, attended 1,200 days here at Bonnie Rig High School. So the recipient of this award um, is Ashley Tran. So if she would like to make her way up. Congratulations to these students. Congratulations to those students and also a massive congratulations to Ashley. I would now like to invite the homeroom teachers of 12 roll call 6 through to 12 uh, roll call 10 to the stage to announce the graduates. It's with great pleasure that I announce the graduates of 12R6. Connor Marura. Daniel McLean. Stoyan Milic. Luka Milkovic. Sean Milosevsky. Faith Mawala. Aya Naman, Mary 
Declan No. Justin No. Thomas No. Adam Nguyen. Anne Nguyen. Annie Nguyen. Kathy Nguyen. Cecilia Nguyen. Tuan Nguyen. And it is with great pleasure that I announce the graduates of 12R7. Cindy Nguyen. Krista Nguyen. Damien Nguyen. David Nguyen. Isabel Nguyen. Jasmine Nguyen. Jennifer Nguyen. Jenny Nguyen. Jenny Ngoc Nguyen. Jessica Nguyen. Jonathan Nguyen. Kelly Nguyen. Lara Nguyen. Leon Nguyen. Mandy Nguyen. Nathan Nguyen. Philip Nguyen. Ruby Nguyen. Shayla Nguyen.
Sheila Nguyen. Tanya Nguyen. Vivian Nguyen. Lina Nguyen. Three Nguyen. Vivian Hoi Tong Nguyen. Katie Nin. Yenan Odisho. Please join me in congratulating these students. Excuse me, I need my other pair of eyes. Uh, it is with great, uh, great pleasure that I announce the graduates of 12 R8. Uh, Mariana Ostoich. Tamia Pemis. Damien Powell. Hanalise Papali. Tamara Perota. Dylan Pham. Anna Frank. Tracy Fan. Vincent Fan. Raymond Fan, Alisa Fan, Angelina Fan, Avery Fenley, Tom Fenawong. Melissa Paul. Brandon Koch. William Chen.
Elena Radiovich. Ryan Race One. <laughs> Robert Roos. <laughs> Rani Sayed. Angela Sabalovich. Manuela Satek. Monica Song. Jason Sugi. And Sarah Tran. And please join me in congratulating these students. It is with great pleasure that I announce the graduates of 12R9. Annalise So. Yusuf Sami. Teodora Sachevich, Stella Savicic, Tyrone Saysutin. Christian Seach, Nikita Sefu, Danilo Sadar. Lauren Sharon, Benedict Simamora, Branko Stegnaya. Chantel Stewart, Jacqueline Tarr, Jane Tomasi. Nadia Dittevong. Thomas Tra.
Kim Tram. Anthony Tran. Benjamin Tran. Ashley Tran. Cindy Tran. Elizabeth Tran. Bach Tran. Nikki Tran. Shayla Tran. Please join me in congratulating these students. Well, they've definitely saved the best for last, didn't they? 12 out of 10, you are the most humbling, kind and caring roll call I've ever had. And it's been such a privilege and an honour to have been your roll call teacher for the last two years. It is with the greatest pleasure that I announce the graduates of 12 out of 10. Andrew Tran. Tony Tran. Alana Trin. Min Trin. Dion Trung. Han Trung. Cindy Som. Rosalia Som. Dolene Tuapepe. Dennis Ang. Fuatsupu Va'a. Kevin Van. Ryan Van. Natalie Varas Santara. Right, 
Rochelle Vigvari. Alex B. Melissa Vidic. T. Vo. Beeling Vu Jennifer Vu William Vu Danny Vu Emily Wilton Mina Zachary Shima Frida Zanguzade Andy Zhang and Mingyu Zhang. Please join me in congratulating these students. Congratulations, graduates of 12.06 and 12.10. The final award of the ceremony is for academic excellence. This award acknowledges the academic excellence of students in Year 12 across the subjects. The award will be presented by Mr. Bryce. The recipient of the Roanoke High School Award for Academic Excellence is Evan and Nethesu. Congratulations, Evan. I would now like to invite our year advisors, Ms. Press and Ms. Probes, to give their address. Mm. Okay, well, here we are. 1,200 school days, 7,200 lessons, 266 students, five year advisors, and two uniforms later. But one school and only one legendary 2020 year 12 cohort. 
As your year advisors, we have felt privileged to not only represent you, but to stand beside you, forming memorable relationships, supporting you in times of need, rallying in your successes, and helping to achieve your goals beyond school. Although technically not your OG year advisors, we remember your early days at Bonnyrigg High, when you were shorter than us, eager to receive merit awards, but never afraid to debate the rules during sport, which still hasn't changed. Over time, we have watched you find new interests and hobbies, expand and adapt friendship groups, thrive in academic, creative and sporting avenues, while navigating the twists and turns of adolescence. However, before we knew it, you were looking for work, sitting for your driving licence, maybe once or twice, applying for university scholarships and getting sides for graduation gowns. However, despite all these changes, we are thankful a few of you are still shorter than us. <laughs> we all know I'm going to need it. <laughs> I don't got this. <laughs> While we often get preoccupied with the present, we forget about the past. So let's take that step back in time. In 2002 or 2003, the utmost joy of most of your parents of their lives were born. That was you guys. And along with that year, there were many other life events, such as the first phone with the inbuilt camera and Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears breaking up. That was a huge thing back then. Now we fast forward to 2008, you have entered kindergarten. You got your first taste of school, creating new friendships outside the family circle. And us in kindergarten too. We couldn't leave ourselves out. In 2008, I was completing my last year of high school. I was sitting in the very spot that you are now. <laughs> stressing about my HSC and what life after school was going to bring. But obviously not in these awesome graduation gowns and hats that you have today. Miss Press over here, she was a bit of a youngling because she graduated in 2010. <laughs> I never thought that I'd be standing here as your year advisor alongside with the amazing Miss Press sending off our own year group into that big wide world. In 2015, this is where your journey began here at Bonnie Rigg High School. And someone else too, Miss Press. That was her first year here at Bonnie Rigg. So she's been on this journey with you. It's not exactly the same, but over the past six years, you've had many adventures. In 2015, that was the year that Jonathan Thurston kicked that amazing sideline goal to seal the win for New North Queensland. And Steve Stephen Curry also breaks the 40-year drought for that gold those Golden State Warriors. And for those Star Wars fans out there, especially Miss Orford, Han Solo and Chewbacca came home. <laughs> now to 2020, one of the craziest years. We've had COVID, we've had extreme bushfires, flooding, the great toilet paper scare, the song WAP being number one. <laughs> this year was the year of the rat and it's definitely tested you. For some, the rat is a lucky symbol. For others, it seems to sum up this year, not as lucky as all. But however, the rat is resourceful, which you have shown to be this year. Despite all, you have exceeded expectations, overcoming many challenges as the pandemic impacted your day-to-day -day learning, including transitioning to online lessons, changes to practical HSE examinations, and cancellation of events. Even when times were tough, you adapted, determined to push forward, even when things having to have, sorry, even when sometimes having to take a firstly a step backwards. As a result, you are here today, ready to graduate, surrounded by your cohort, and equipped with life skills beyond your years, proving that no matter what obstacles you face, 
you can continue to grow and learn. And that it is even possible to clear all your N awards during a pandemic. Please take note, year 11. As you sit here wearing your graduation gowns and the magnitude of this achievement, <coughs> joining you, uh, dawns on you, is it, okay, it is okay to have mixed emotions. Some of you are excited to undertake further study, pursue full-time employment, travel, or to finally finish school. Some of you are nervous because you don't know exactly what you want to do and you're scared because you thought you would have it all figured out by now. Some of you are overwhelmed at the thought of moving on and leaving behind the structure and routine that school has always provided for you. And some of you find it hard to believe that this day has actually arrived. Regardless of how you are feeling right now, we want you to think about how much you have learnt and accomplished, but most important, through your years beyond school the same way they have during your time here. With this in mind, there are a few people we need to thank today. A special mention to our principal, Mr. Bryce, deputy, Ms. Naveza, head teachers of welfare, Ms. Sims and Ms. Park, international coordinators, Ms. Nguyen and Ms. Lin, the careers team, school counsellors, Amy and Libby, head teacher of learning support, Ms. Dunsing and the learning support team, of course, your Year 12 teachers and all staff who have played a vital role in getting you to this point today. We thank them dearly for their words of wisdom, endless encouragement and determination to get the best from you, even when they thought there wasn't any more to give. We also have a couple of more thank yous. We'd like to thank Ms Clark for the amazing balloon displays on, out here for you today. And both Ms Kennedy's for their amazing flower displays for you. Ms Seymour, Ms Harris, Ms Orford, Ms Hong and the SAS staff for their hard work in making today possible through long hours of decorating, decoration making, iron gowns, ironing gowns, printing, sorting and everything in between to make today an unforgettable day. We also like to thank our year, 12, our year 10 helpers um, who have helped with the gown collections and organising of all the awards and little gifts today. However, Ms. Press and I wish to thank each of you as well for teaching us a few things along the way, such as key terminology, the terms savage and lit and spill the tea, and the difference between happy trance and DEFCON beats, and who can forget the wonderful world of TikTok. <laughs> Today is the beginning of a new adventure, but whatever the future holds, ensure that living your life to the fullest and taking every opportunity that comes your way. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, to fall terribly, laugh at yourself and start fresh. With determination, consistency and patience, you are unstoppable. To say how proud we are of you would be an understatement. We are so honoured to be your year advisors and you will forever have a special place in our hearts. Please don't be strangers, keep in contact and don't hesitate to pop in and tell us about your adventures. The world is yours to explore, work hard, be kind and remember the best years are yet to come. We would now like Abby to come up and signify the end of your graduation with the tassels. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, oh. We'd like to invite you to move your tassel. Okay. Okay. Wait, you're on stage? Yeah. Start from there. Oh. Miss Probst is contagious. Oof. It's terrible. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, I would now like everyone to remove your tassel to the left side of your cap as a declaration of your achievements. Congratulations, class of 2020. That's it. I need to say now we've put together a special video. We've now put together a special video that is a summary of your time here, and we hope you enjoy it.
to dance and now I'm singing like It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you. the planes we flew the things we've been through that i'll be standing right here talking to you about another path i know we love to hit the road and laugh but something told me that it wouldn't last had to switch up look at things different see the bigger picture those were the days hard work forever pays now i see you in a better place see you in a better place ah uh, how can we not talk about family when family's all that we got Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride It's been a long day Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again, I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, a long way. From where we began you know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it When I see you again Let me tell you See you again. First you both go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong and with small turn to a friendship, a friendship turn to a bond and that bond will never be broken, the love will never get lost. It's been a long Without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Congratulations, class of 2020. We made it. Thank you, Ms. Press and Ms. Pope, for your kind words and all of your support over the years. On behalf of the Year 12, we would like to represent you with a small gift as a symbol of our gratitude.
Yeah. Just stand here with me. Just end it, yeah. A very special thanks to Ms. Press and Pros for creating that touching presentation. Before we conclude today's ceremony, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank our year advisors, office staff, senior executive, and head teachers, parents, carers, and families for making today's graduation ceremony a great success. Congratulations to you all. Another reminder that the photos taken today will be available via share folder. The link will be emailed to all year 12 students via their DEC emails by the end of the week. And finally, just one last time, congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you. Okay, Year 12, congratulations. Um, that's the end of um, the pretty much the official um, proceedings. Can I ask you to stand for the exit of the official party, please? And that's the end of our live stream as well for today.